Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shag here, and welcome to TG10, the top 10 space engineers mods. Number 10, Transparent UI. I did a spotlight solely on this mod over on my personal channel, The XP Gamers. It's crazy simplistic, but adds so much. I can't stand a UI that's obtrusive. With this mod, it turns that blue background of all the interface elements into something that's much more transparent, allowing you to see what's going on in the background, even when you're in your K or G menu. Making rotor and piston adjustments that are in the background far easier. It makes the game look cleaner and sleeker. Sadly, you can't install this using the workshop. Luckily, it's an easy install with a quick drag and drop of some files. Number nine, the letters mod. When I build a ship, I always want that Star Trek style printing of her name across the bow. It's something that was almost impossible to pull off in the early days of Space Engineers. But with this simple mod, you can put your stamp on anything in the world. Bam, Voyager, one of the ugliest exploration ships I've ever built. But at least you know her name. Number eight, signs. Okay, so I have this thing about organization. I hate it when I board a ship and I can't find anything because every corridor and hallway kind of looks the same. Define rooms with a purpose, or how I like to build a ship or a space station. With this mod, you can add signs to the game world, letting everyone know what's up ahead, where the danger's at, where the bridge is at, and, well, where to find the exits. Number seven, ship speed. As of making this video, top speed has been made moddable in Space Engineers. No longer are we limited to a speed of just over 100 meters a second. With a wide variety of speed mods that are out there, I prefer the 800-500 mod. This allows small ships to reach top speeds of 800 and large ships to reach speeds of around 500. Just make sure your computer can handle generating asteroids when you're moving at ludicrous speeds. Prepare ship! Prepare ship! Speed. Number six, scatter cannons, battle cannons, hell, all the cannons. Weapons. Sure, the normal game comes with the minigun and the rocket launcher, but where are my battleship cannons? Oh yeah, here we go, the battle cannons. The battle cannons can be built into rotating turrets, and the scattered cannons will give you the real sci-fi Star Wars feel with green rounds spewing out everywhere. They're perfect for close range interceptors or for anti-fighter upgrades to your cruiser or capital ship. Number five, Sage Mods. Sage is one of those well-known space engineers YouTubers. He's also a mod author. He's made a handful of mods that work great, my favorite being the Industrial Thruster. It's a massive engine with sleek lines. He's also made cryopods that have made the storyline in my current Space Engineers Let's Play possible on my channel. He's even made working bunks, hatches for your ship, and a desk for filling out the interiors of your ship. Thanks, Sage, for making awesome stuff. Number four. Shadow Flux used equipment sales and service. One issue that I've always had with Space Engineers is the fact that everything is so damn nice and clean. It's so high tech. In comes Shadow Flux with his beat to hell gear and equipment. Now you can build that old abandoned mining facility or dirty old towing ship. It's not just looks either. His items are slightly degraded, so they don't perform as well as the standard Space Engineer stuff but they're cheaper to build. This particular mod has had lots of updates since its release, so check it out and see what he's added. Number three, the command consoles. This is a vanilla bridge, or what's supposed to be a vanilla bridge of a mighty capital ship. Yeah, I know, it's kind of sad times. And this is the command console mod. Bum, 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 yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Even better, it actually works as a control seat. You can put in a spot for your pilot, your gunners, and you're ready to go. Number two, Exker's interior decoration mods. No other mod helps bring out the feeling of a living space in uh, space. This mod adds those random things that you don't really think about that'd be on board a space station, maybe a large capital ship. Like, sweet, a pool table. And number one, Azimuth Mega Mod Pack. If Shadow Flux set out to make gear that looks like it's straight out of, well, Chernobyl, then Azmuth's Mega Mod Pack is gear that's straight out of Tony Stark's basement. 
He's gone in and made new versions of just about every item in the game, each with its own look and feel. My favorite is this kick-ass fighter cockpit. So that's my top 10 mods, at least my list. I could easily do another two top 10s because there's just so much awesome over on the Steam Workshop right now. I didn't even mention the hover bike mod or the massive number of armored block mods. Anyway, if you guys have favorite mods for Space Engineers, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to sub to them. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to TGN for more gaming goodness, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.